All right, so we are almost released from the chains, from the shackles of this week. Uh, the weekend is almost here, and I'm here to run my mouth. Let's get into it. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. And since we're talking about the weekend, let's just go ahead and see what Boosie has said about this upcoming weekend. Uh, Boosie said on yesterday, my hemorrhoids are gone. Great weekend on the way. Now, I'm not going to spend too much time on it. All I want to know is, Boosie, what exactly do you mean by that? And we would not have to question this if you did not like to speak about peens uh, and niggas' asses and shit. We, we would not have to question this shit uh, if you t did not speak about uh, peen more than I do. But whatever, I'm gonna let you have that. Like I always say, homophobic and transphobic niggas are my favorite to drag, but I'm not gonna go too far into uh, whatever Boosie has to offer. I know he said that it's cleared up already. <laughs> but I guess you're gonna be throwing that kitty cat around town. I need to call animal control services. Uh, make sure that y'all are going over to patreon.com slash Adrian Expression. New podcast episodes every single week. Uh, extra content, early content, all that stuff. Make sure you stream my EP, my new EP, my new music, all that. Thanks everyone for the support. Thanks everyone who signed up. Let's just continue on with the video. First of all, Invincible has been renewed for the second season and its third season. So there, uh, apparently it's just such a hit that the girls are like, just go ahead and give us more seasons. That's exactly what I mean. Um, there's so much that I have to say about this finale that I'm just gonna do a whole separate video immediately after I record this shit. Like, uh, Omni Man is just really, something's wrong with his ass. <laughs> something's wrong with his ass. So I'm gonna go into more detail about this and just my thoughts, my rambling ass, ranting ass thoughts. Uh, about the entire episode in a video that you will see a little bit later. Since we're on the topic of TV shows, I also want to talk about the fact that Castlevania is coming back on May 13th, season four. Now, I saw some complaints where people were like, oh my gosh, the last season sucked, blah, blah, blah. To me, the last season, well, it may not have had as much action, which I do, I do enjoy. I'm not gonna lie, I, I really love the action in Castlevania. So it did not have to me as much action as it did, but it had plenty of action. It did not have as much action to me as the first season did, but I think, you know, when you're invested in a good story, it's okay if it takes the time to develop that shit, you know? Like if you needed to take season two like y'all did to develop a story and make season three the, the bang that it seems like it's about to be, uh, then, then that's it. I think there are two extremes, there's one extreme where it's just like, oh my gosh, filler episodes every, every fucking time. And then there's another extreme where it's like, okay, there's so much action, but there's not enough plot. And I think that Castlevania balances that shit. Either way, I'm trying to see Saipa, uh, you know, burn your holes up or freeze you bitches up. Like, she's such a badass in this trailer as well. I hope that Alucard actually gets the, uh, gets some peen that won't betray him, I feel like. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And these bitches are trying to raise Dracula up from the dead. Yeah, you can kiss my ass. I'm ready to see it. I'm ready to see it, bitch. What, what side would be doing, bitch? She be burning you bitches up. Still on the topic of TV shows, real quick, House of the Dragon. Remember I said that they were they were filming. There have been some leaks from the set and shit. I'm not gonna post them in my video, but all I'm saying is, and I'm not gonna spoil anything like that, it's looking like it may be given. All I'm saying is they were on set in them Targaryen ass wigs, bitch, and I'm ready. Like, bitch, all I want, all I want, is to see them damn dragons. Like, I know y'all gotta work on the CGI and everything. I know it's gonna take some time. I just wanna see these damn dragons, especially when you have these huge sets or, you know, the actors are being filmed in these vast landscapes. It's like, bitch, I know a dragon's supposed to be right by them. I wanna see it! I can't wait. Uh, but I, I'll wait, I'll wait. What else is going on? Jack A. Harry is going to be on Pose. Uh, May 2nd, you already know the next season comes out. Oh my gosh, it's so soon, bitch! Black season of Pose, I can't wait, I can't wait. I can't wait to see what the character's been up to. Now, I wanna talk about this DJ Khaled and Beyonce thing. We already knew that because he had put on his Instagram, oh, I had to sign an NDA, and also and also on the list of the artists who were gonna be on this album, there was one artist called Harmonies by the Hive or something like that. And I was like, who the hell is that? It gives me Beyonce teases. Like, we already guessed that Beyonce was gonna be on the album. She, she was. 
and she literally gave us harmonies. That was it. She said, hey, in the middle of the song, I don't know who them niggas was on the track. I can't think of them right now. The only one I think of is Jay-Z, and if you asked me what he said, I would not know. I was just literally fast forwarding to where Beyonce party is at. Like, that's just, it is what it is. So like I said, she literally said, hey, one time, and then at the very, very end of the song, she gave us these beautiful harmonies, and they were beautiful. Uh, but I know Beyonce was just like, okay, all right, you say you want me on this album again? You say I got, to, I mean, I'm already doing 10,000 things already. Just go in the back. No, you got to go in the back. Let me call Jay. 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 It's, it's the harmonies. It's on the USB drive next to Blue. Ask Blue. Yes, just email that shit. To, email that shit to DJ Khaled. I, I just, I'm working on the tour and shit, and he, and he talking about he want this. Yeah, yeah, just email that shit. Literally, it was like some, it was beautiful. It was like 10 part harmony. <laughs> and she, like I said, she just went and go sit her ass back down and went back to sleep. It was just like, girl, that's it. And she was like, y'all better dance to this old shit. And I, I was like, oh my gosh, harmony. She literally called herself harmonies by the hive so that, you know, you bitches wouldn't be bothering her, I guess. But she literally gave us harmonies by having that was it. And uh, <laughs> I don't know if this is a new stage name for whatever she feel like just typing in some shit and sit her ass back down. And she should have. But what I'm saying is, I, I love harmonies by the hive. I don't know who that artist is, Beyonce, but go ahead and whip out Sasha. Where's Sasha at? The harmonies was cute though, I love you. <laughs> no, but all joking aside, it was great to hear her voice on some new shit again. Especially for it to be harmonies, it's like, what are you gonna give us? Oh, what are you gonna give us this next era, B? We're waiting, we're waiting. <laughs> I feel like I've mentioned T-Pain more than usual recently. Um, but like I said on Twitter, I already knew he was, he, he had a cool personality when he was defending Frank Ocean and, uh, you know, when he came out and, also, he told a bunch of you industry niggas to unclench because, you know, he had, I don't know if he had a gay assistant or something like that, and they would like treat him weird anytime he would walk into the room. It's like, T, I guess T Pain one day, it was years ago, he had enough of that shit. It was like, you can unclench. Like, the, just because you're a nigga does not mean that these gay niggas want you. So, I, I knew it was cool. So, T Pain just showed essentially how much, like the rest of us, he is. He <laughs> posted this video talking about. I had no idea that all these celebrities were trying to contact me in the request folder on Instagram, and I'm just like, yeah, I didn't even, I remember not even knowing that that was a fucking feature on Instagram for the longest, I'm talking about months and months. And it's still kind of weird right now, like it's still kind of wonky, I don't know, in my experience. Either way, he was scrolling down this whole list of all these fucking celebrities trying to get in contact with him. <laughs> That must be so, somebody said we're gonna see so many featuring T-Pain songs in 2022 cause he was just, <laughs> he was up there like damn all these niggas trying to work with me, I got all these like, I mean blue checks for as long as he was scrolling like there's all these, it was all these artists so he felt bad he just didn't want people to feel like, you know, uh, he was ignoring them so <laughs> I just, I just thought that was hilarious, this shit went viral uh, within moments after he put this shit up. So I know I don't talk about Little Mix a lot, like I should, um, but their new song and music video for Confetti, that shit, it, that shit goes off. I think it's so quirky and fun how they were like gender swapping throughout the whole fucking video. And then they also had like drag queens and shit on in the video as well. Uh, they were hitting that choreography. And then also Sweetie was featured on it. And one of the reasons I'm bringing her up as well is because she was doing some interviews talking about, oh yeah, you know, I'm an artist boot camp. I'm really, you know, working on basically how she raps and I'm working on my, you know, everything, like artist development almost. And it's just like really cool to see her, like, first of all, do all this and also to be making all these kind of moves and then with a mix and then the way she looked good as fuck in the video and her bars were nice. It was like some cute little rhymes. And I love that the one line where she was just like, Face on Hallie and body on Chloe or something like that. I just thought it was really cute. She looked really good. The music video was fun. It's just, it gives me more of like a pop moment. You feel what I'm saying? I feel like a lot of times now, currently in the music industry, it's just like, okay, girl, here, here's a video, here's a video. But like, I'm glad that the girls are now starting to revitalize that pop moment. Give us a pop moment, like Lil Nas X. Like, give us a moment. That's why I feel like little Lil Mix did like, a brief runway, like just give us a moment with your visuals, and I just really liked it. Okay, and what I meant to say was, some people think that the Sweetie line where she was like, "Oh, my face is on Hallie and my body's on Chloe," 
that some people are just like, oh girl, that's shady. And I just don't see it as shade. And Chloe obviously didn't either. It probably it may rub people the wrong way, probably because they feel uh, they already feel like audiences are trying to pit Chloe and Halle against each other. But I did not think that this was one of those things, was one of those times. What do y'all think of that? What do you think of it? I don't know, I love the line. When I heard it, I was like, oh yes, girls. We will wander into the world of politics for just a few moments before we end this video. First of all, um, former Republican official Joel Greenberg, uh, he's been charged with sex trafficking. He has written a whole letter, written a whole letter confessing that he and his close associate, Matt Gates, paid for sex with multiple women and also R-worded a 17-year-old. So that, that's just a quick blurb about Matt Gacy. I already know I've been dragging his ass for the longest. We are seeing, we are watching his downfall in real time. I'm so happy. I'm so happy about it. He's such an asshole. Such a ridiculous asshole. Get him off the streets. Uh, protect the victims. And that's it. Make sure there are no more victims. And that's it. Bitch, get his ass out of here. Get his ass out of here. Things are unraveling uh, for his blockhead, cinder block shape head ass. His, you know, brick. I need a jackhammer. His Tetris block, Rubik's Cube. Uh, in the face, built ass. That's how his head is fucking constructed. Things are unraveling for his ass, and not even Daddy Trump is gonna save him. <laughs> I mean, Trump didn't even want to meet with him. <laughs> so I guess Mike Pence is not shutting his ass up, and I'm just like, I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm so tired of hearing his about his ass. Apparently, he made this speech, and it was along the lines of the, the tweets that he was putting out. The most disturbing development of the last 100 days has been the Biden administration's wholehearted embrace of the radical left's all-encompassing, rapidly escalating war on American traditional values. And what's crazy to me is that this man, Joe Biden, is so far from anybody's fucking left. What do y'all talk about? <laughs> and then what I find interesting is that anytime you know, they have these long ass talking points, these speeches and tweets about attacking American values, what are the American values that y'all talk about being attacked? Fucking racism? White supremacy? What are you talking about? Exploitation of the fucking poor and, and working class? Like, what do y'all mean? And then he goes on to explain, they abolished the 1776 commission aimed at promoting patriotism in American education. They authorized teaching critical race theory in federal agencies and public schools and blah, 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 blah. He said, we will reject critical race theory in our schools and public institutions and we will cancel cancel culture wherever it arises. I think it's fucking hilarious. First of all, if you're canceling cancel culture, doesn't that make you a part of cancel culture? That's the first thing. The second thing is cancel culture does not exist. It's not a fucking real thing. Like I said, you bitches can talk all the shit you want. You can say anything you want. You can do anything you want as long as y'all have power. As long as y'all are sitting on the top of society's totem pole. Like y'all can do whatever you... It doesn't matter how angry motherfuckers get. Y'all can do whatever you want. I hate this idea of uh, calling people who say, Hey, guess what? We're being fucked up. Uh, fucked over by the government. Fucked over by, you know, all the isms and phobias. Fucked over. Like, I don't want to hear none of that shit. I hate when people talk about, oh, that's censoring. Y'all can and y'all have built your own uh, institutions and you know, speech platforms and uh, media platforms to say the bullshit that you wanna say, you can say it. You can do it. The Hill said Mike Pence hit the Biden administration over trillions of dollars in proposed spending to pay for an economic relief package, an infrastructure proposal, and a child care and family leave plan. So it's just like, the Democrats are pretending like they wanna help people out uh, and and uh, Mike Pence has an issue with that shit. It's just like, are, are you okay? I don't know if Pence is trying to run for some shit. It seems like it. It seems like that's why he's making these speeches and that's why he's keeping his name in the media. It seems like he might want to run for some shit. I don't know if it's with Trump because Trump said, hey, guess what, bitch? I want my running mate to be Ron DeSantis if I, if I choose to run in 2024. And he didn't say shit about goddamn Pence. It's just crazy for Pence to be going off of the same uh, voting base who was calling for his head on January 6th. Like, <laughs> You not tired, bro? But yeah, on that note, I love y'all so much. Make sure that you're checking out patreon.com slash Adrian Expression. Make sure you're checking out my new EP so you can twerk your ass to it this summer. Hey! Thanks for all the support and the love and make sure that you have a good goddamn evening.